have we ever looked at this sign? <clears throat> now, can you close up on it? Uh, computer, enhance. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> that was supposed to be a joke. I don't well, know why. I, don't... I thought that uh, clicking on the screen would ensure that nothing would happen. No, I thought what you were going to do is it was going to be one of those things where you click and drag it and it's like a, oh my God. a link to some weird right? <laughs> Chrome site. Yeah. yeah. Chrome extensions, blah, 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 blah. Whoops. Whoops. Hey babes, we're back at it again. Busting up the bub. Pub. Don't do it. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna hit everybody in the line. Oh yeah, she left her house. We can't talk to her. Crazy old Lisa. <laughs> Crazy old Marisa. <laughs> Marisa. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I imagine you saying it with your hands, like, like Italian. Mia, that's a crazy <laughs> Marisa. <laughs> that's dumb. <laughs> um, so where do you, where did she say that she was going? Did she say where? Did she say? I don't think she did. I think she said. She said, "I'm going to um." Cause she said like a library. My mother's or grave. My mama. <laughs> I am so nice. sorry. I, that normally doesn't happen. That was uh, a Blake exclusive. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> That's down on the iceberg. You have to really dig down for that good burp. God. Oh, so we didn't even get to ask him about the aptitude test. Yeah, I guess he wouldn't know. He was never a member. I'm interested in seeing what Simon has to say. Yeah, about the, right. Uh, aptitude. He's like, oh, I aced the aptitude test. It says, am I submissive? Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, am, am I, I stupid? <laughs> yes, of course. Am I submissive and breedable? <laughs> <laughs> Do I always say please and thank you like a good boy? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. I love, it's not go into Brown and House. It's go ahead to Brown and House. Go ahead, Just Brandon go right House. ahead. A few more questions, if you don't mind. <laughs> I Paul! Wonder, he, it's his bedtime. Let this old man go to sleep. He's banging on the door. Tell me about this aptitude test, Paul. Please, Paul. Can you tell me a bit about this, please? Uh, it's the Atlas aptitude test. He asked very test. nicely. What does it test, exactly? It's a test uh, we introduced to make sure that any students didn't have any major personality problems. Skeletons in the cupboard, so to speak. Like you and your we son? We introduced it because we had a little bit of a problem with one of the students. Mm. Lisa. You are well informed. <laughs> and what do you think it was that disturbed her? I believe that the course proved to be too demanding for her. Uh, we discovered that she had one or two psychological problems and she couldn't handle it. And did you change anything else on the course apart from introducing the uh, test? Uh, we increased the entrance age to 21. Well, it wasn't much, but it's about the only thing we could do. <laughs> we didn't want another Lisa. We didn't want students turning around and suing us, did we? Um, two questions. One, was did Lisa come over when it was Atlas or when it was Third Eye? Oh shit, good question. Because I don't know I how don't long remember. ago the car tagging was. Oh no no no, that was a year ago. That was a year ago. So okay. that would have been Atlas. Wait, was it? Because I thought it was Oh wait, one year ago was when the other student was killed and it was He was with the third eye. Third eye. Yeah. So it would have been third eye, I guess. I think she was with third eye. Okay banging on the door. Rebecca! <laughs> Wait, Rachel! <laughs> oh, Rachel! I can't, I think we did that for everything up till now. I think we've been calling her Rachel this whole time. I was surprised time. when a, a good old Rebecca came out of your mouth. I'm like, who's that? <laughs> because like, and you know, you know why I called her that? Because I read it. That's the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> she just looks like a Rachel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you know anything about this? It's the aptitude test, isn't it, for Atlas? What do you want to know? Do you know why it was introduced? I think they had some trouble with some unsuitable students. I suppose you have to be careful who you work with. I really think that she's being kept in the dark about a lot of stuff going on in Atlas. 
I, I genuinely think that she doesn't know about a chunk of stuff. Uh, the more that we're talking to her, the more I agree. Because at first, yeah, we, we were totally like, oh, yeah, of course she's in on it. She's probably behind the whole stupid thing. And Because, like, okay, her acting has been really weird surrounding all her answers. Yeah. But the more we get to it, everything that she's saying is just like, I think that she actually just doesn't, doesn't know, know yeah. anything. Which is just like, I wonder if eventually she's going to start asking questions to her husband about I, this. I think so. I'm wondering when the crossover is going to happen where it's yeah. like, wait a minute. You told him this? Because so far, like, you know, even with, with Simon and Emma being separated in their own goddamn house for three hours straight now. Like, <laughs> I, yeah. You know, so far, just the way that the game is designed, like... You get the feeling that nobody's been talking to each other up till this point, but I'm wondering if there's going to be a moment where, like, um, something shifts. Yeah, like, uh, Ryan goes to, like, goes back home. Yeah, like, you come over to see, like, Simon, you knock on the door, and it starts a cutscene where, like, Paul's standing there in the background. He's like, <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I'm expecting something like that to happen. It looks very dark in there, and I feel like we just woke her up. <laughs> It's her Betty by time. If she wouldn't stop lying to me, we'd probably have this thing figured out by now. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind on her. Lady, get those lies before. out of your mouth. <laughs> Spit them out. Um, no, not not this one exactly, but uh, we had to fill something similar in on the first night at Atlas. One of those aptitude tests. You know, fitness and stuff like that. <laughs> How much weight can you press? <laughs> okay. How much bench can you uh, push or pump? Um, you know I'm saying, brother. <laughs> Shock and raw. Okay. Yeah. So it it uh, focuses on general fitness right here. I really think okay, it's like they're they're that. training little soldiers to do their bidding around town. I want. Yeah. Let's click on that. I want to know what he says. Did you do a test before you started at Atlas? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it was all. Yeah, I totally stuff. passed it. Uh, if I had any illnesses or mental health problems or stuff like that, you know. But they didn't actually ask for any proof, so I could have lied through your teeth on that one. Don't think they actually checked. Interesting. <laughs> proof I got through. Hmm. What are they using the application form for then? Because they're lying about. Doing it because of what happened to Thank Lisa, you. right? Be back later. If he's um, like, they don't even care about it, like they're not even checking the information. Because, like, I I just want to know why he thinks that. Is it based upon Kate? Uh, well, because Kate obviously yeah. must have lied about stuff on her thing since she's actively having mental health problems. With, like, her alcoholism and everything Yeah, else. like, how did she get through? Yeah. If they're using the test to make sure that everybody is, like, squeaky clean. Yeah. <clears throat> Ask you a couple more things, please. All right. Oh, you gave, gave me the us. test. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just slap him across the face with it on my way out. <laughs> I see through your little lies, you freak. <laughs> you ugly little man. <laughs> you small, you insignificant demonic man. creature. <laughs> Squirming under my shoe. Okay, so we've asked everybody about it. I need to go back to Paul because I, I did read the next thing in the walkthrough and that reminded me of something that I had thought of mm -hmm. at the time. And then, like, as soon as we turned off the game, I immediately forgot. So <laughs> it was a little reminder. Oh, yeah. I remember having that thought going, yeah, there's something, there's something specific that he said. Just a few more questions, if you don't um, mind. Um, okay. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Accus oh, the accusation. We asked him about the car photos. We didn't know him. Do you know anything about devil worship, Paul? I beg your pardon. Devil worship? I love everybody asks like they've never even heard those words. Like they're so confused about it. What's a worship? What's a elements of Satan? Satan. 
Ick? We're a training company, <laughs> we're not devil worshippers. What kind of a question is that? So you've no interest in the occult? No, Inspector, I have no interest in the occult any more than I have interest in pool vaulting, cheese making, or snake charming. Anything else you want to know that I'm not interested in? That's fine. He thanks. looks like a cheese man. <laughs> That's a man who's definitely made some cheese. <laughs> This is this is a man who's all about his Swiss. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying. He's saying. lying. Alright, we figured it out all on our own. We mm -hmm. definitely did not look up two different walkthroughs. I don't even know how to read, so Yeah, so there's no way we could have done that. Um so Paul said Lisa was disturbed by the techniques used on the course and impossible to be hurt or damaged by hypnosis. Implying. I don't like the wording of that one. That just seems so... Like, it seem, makes it seem very not related to the first one, but whatever. So nobody has ever but been affected Jenks' by brain is on a whole different level from Except everybody Lisa. else. Hypnosis wasn't the problem, Inspector. Lisa was the problem with Lisa. That's why we introduced the test. But the hypnosis was the trigger, wasn't it? Lisa arrived on the course believing we were all devil worshippers. She was nuts to start with. We didn't make her like that. Well, as far as I can tell, Paul, you've had one student accuse you of devil worship and two others commit suicide. <laughs> Some of your it's not a good look, good Paul. Yeah. Not, <laughs> Kate was enjoying not a great garbage. record, Paul. 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 Bubbly, confident, flirty. With <laughs> you mean with whom? Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Including me, me after watching the X-Files. Really? Every time Skinner's <laughs> like, to who? I don't get into relationships with students, Inspector. Company policy, it's not professional. Except you super do flirt with. <laughs> There's no way Paul would have turned down an opportunity like that. I love that they're turning Kate into basically Laura Palmer. <laughs> Literally. Um, okay. so... Do so I don't think we have anything new. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Okay. So what do we hold on? So what information do we did we get? What do I do now? <laughs> um, because like that that's confusing to me because he I wish that that did give us some new information to interact with him over. Right. Because he just said I wouldn't do that because it's unprofessional when he literally gave a student a necklace. To like, yeah, lure them. okay, hold on. Is that let me okay. let me go back and see? I feel like getting somebody in two contra like the same person in two contradictions in a row is something that we haven't really done before, but we are getting into the second half of the game, so yeah, things are getting a little also, tense. Paul's just weird, yeah, Paul's just a fucking freak, so like, <laughs> okay, let's ask the question about that because that's been bothering me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. avoids relationships with students and so that emma the necklace yeah i gotta find it um, nice what the fuck Come on. Um, try Emma's Guild. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's more in there. There's something about yep, Emma. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So you avoid relationships with students, except for Emma, who you tried to date. Oh, come on, Inspector. That was a long time ago. And what about Kate Vine? Did you try to date her or not? Oh, don't be so ridiculous, Inspector. Kate was an exceptionally clever girl. She knew exactly what she wanted, and she knew how to get it. You mean that Kate approached you? It wouldn't surprise me if she was playing everyone in the group. Kate had more enemies than you'd think. She was a very, very manipulative young woman. And I was helpless. <laughs> <laughs> I had, I was powerless. <laughs> Oh, midnight's the deadline. Okay. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. Let's do some questions about that. Why on earth is midnight our deadline? What happens at midnight? Everybody goes to sleep. <laughs> what about tomorrow? <laughs> what about tomorrow? Why the chief it... said you have one day to solve a murder. Or else I will kill you with <laughs> a gun. <laughs> What does it mean? Why do we will execute you in the okay. basement of the jailhouse? Okay, what I what I think is gonna happen. Let's just put predictions out there right now. Mm -hmm. um, I think what's gonna happen in this game is that around midnight we're gonna be kidnapped, and at gunpoint we have to solve a final puzzle, and that's it. And okay, I all think right. that's why they're a like including like oh this is a hard deadline for us because yeah. there's no logical reason outside of that for us to have an imposed deadline by our chief because like one day to solve a crime <laughs> okay blake that makes no sense my counter argument yes have this you game seen doesn't make Jenks? sense i know <laughs> i know <laughs> He's, he goes around and he asks people with like this stink eye, and then he, he, this inspector doesn't want like, to be. How many times did James say no to <laughs> us? And we said, Yes, sir, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't that okay, wouldn't that imply that he would give us uh, an extension, an extended time to talk to people during? Oh, here it is. Huh? Restaurant. Oh, two people. We talked about together. this. We talked about this. We said, yeah. Just don't want to tell tales. There's gonna be a scene where people are gonna be like, "You said what?" Two guys chilling in a hot tub. <laughs> oh my god! Five feet apart because they're not gay. Problems. So. <laughs> Woof. So that was definitely like a kinky thing, right? Oh, he's so into it. Because I know he was into it, but I don't know he's if He's extremely she, into it. If she like was actually mad at him. Because I wasn't paying attention to what she, she said. She has before. no personality. It's, you can't know. You can't know. Because <laughs> either she deeply it's enjoyed it or she like actually hates him. And I can't figure out like. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good for her. This woman is impossible She's to read. Literally just April Ludgate. Uh, just in murder mystery <laughs> yeah. world. What, what was her name? Uh, what character? She's like Hitler's niece or something. <laughs> Who? <laughs> April, when she's playing the, the character. Um. Oh, when she was at the bar, when she was absolutely like... Yeah. She's having like the, what was it, snake venom or something like yeah. that? She was absolutely drunk out of her goddamn noggin. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I thought that she was like some like French spy or something like that, where she's just like going something table like to table. Yeah, and then she slaps Andy. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. says something in French and just slaps him across the yeah. face and then storms off. And he looks at the camera like, oh. <laughs> yeah. That was that, that is exactly what just happened. Yeah. <laughs> It's just, it, yeah, uh, Andy and April They're in this game. They're just two little freaks. So we're talking to her right now. About right. what? I, there's gotta be so something we can say about what just happened. You just slapped a man across the face. Slapped a man? Oh, the restaurant. Man. Is he still here? Oh, there's something. Oh. He slapped a tooth out and then we can have DNA. Or morph oh, liquid. That's supposed to be like off White brand. cubes. <gasps> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Generic white cubes. <laughs> mm, I sure would like a cube in the morning. <laughs> Wait, what was it? That's what I was trying to find. We were uh, rewatching the last couple of episodes uh, just to kind of catch up for our recording session today. Yeah. And I was trying to find it. I couldn't fucking find it, but there's a part where you're eating your little sour cubes. <laughs> and I'm trying to remember yeah, we're what, <laughs> what we said about it because it was good. I don't remember anything because the, the cubes washed all the pain away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do love those cubes. And by pain, you mean memory. My memory. Um... So we can just say, hey, uh, I don't care about your, like... Your privacy or your anything. Privacy. I found your prescription drugs. 
Tell me all What's about wrong your with depression. You? The cupboard downstairs, there's a lot of unopened stuff in it. Is there? Prescriptions. Made out to you. Oh. They're just spare painkillers. The chemist always gives us too many, he's a friend of the family. Um, that sounds highly illegal. Yeah, that's suspicious. <laughs> it's just morphine. They just give me so many painkillers and they never ask where they're all going. <laughs> they just give us so many opiates. So and many I drugs. just don't care. Like, it's fine. Um, okay. Chemist is a friend of the family. This is... This is so how does weird. this relate to everything else? Where does this guy come into play? Cupboard comes, uh, uh, cupboard contains Rebecca's, who's Rebecca? We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> it is a mystery. It is a mystery. Um, <laughs> sorry, I had to do that. Um, <laughs> Contains Rebecca's, sorry, Rachel's prescription mm -hmm. painkillers. Thank you. Chemist gives one, uh, gives them too many. Chemist is friend of the family. So is, does she ever mention family? Anywhere I'm not, else? No. Because I don't think there's anything to match it with. Unless we talk to, like, um, Ryan about that. But I don't even know if we could find him right now because he already left Atlas and it's really late. It's getting so late. Thank you. It's like so, it's like- We're so close to midnight, which we all know is the time at which it's illegal to do anything past. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, so we're gonna, let's go to- um... <laughs> It's actually the same thing here in the States. And that's why our parents would always try and keep us from playing Game Boy at midnight. <laughs> oh fuck, you're right. <laughs> it was for our protection. It, it was. Um, let's go in and ask James about Rachel's prescription drugs. <laughs> Is he the friend of the family? Is he giving her drugs? No. Okay. Probably be back later. Cause I guess we don't know what he does, but he's just like he's the drug guy. Yeah. He's drug and spirituality man. Yeah. Those are his two personality traits. Good for him. <laughs> A few more questions, if you don't mind. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Unless we can find Ryan, there's nobody else we can talk to about it but Rachel, so... If if we can't find him, let's go yeah, back and talk to Rachel Yeah, where the again. fuck did uh, Ryan run off to? Uh, Is he here? Did I call it earlier? Oh, oh, he dropped something. He dropped everything. How did he, he dropped not hear a that? lot of things? He is so we heard drunk it from or half high a mile away or something. He's on something because he did not hear that. Bit careless, Simon. Probably nothing important, but at this stage, I need all the keys. <laughs> he doesn't pick up the key unless <laughs> Simon's a part of everything, and he's intentionally dropping misleading clues for us he, he he wears really really big sunglasses that have like rear view mirrors on them so he knows <laughs> that he was there he knows he's being followed yeah can we look at our notes to see like what the note said dropped business card uh let's see so key ring as dean hayfield managing director as tech Industrial Eden Edenton? Yeah, Aztec Edenton. Managing director. Um Huh. Do you think maybe that's who designed the um the pamphlets? Yeah, something along those lines, for sure. What do you know about this? This is Simon's. I bought this for him when we were on holiday. Has he lost it? He dropped it. He can't keep anything. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I like how she just gives it back to him, like, 
this is yours now. It's out of my hands. <laughs> I was going to say, actually, we should anything just... Jenks touches is his. <laughs> This floor is lava. Yeah. Thing has been touched. It's Jenks. <laughs> Have you seen this before? Um, nope. Sorry, never heard of him. <laughs> so something you can start doing is just taking objects from each other's rooms and quizzing each other on them. Right? Like, do you know what this is? And it's just like a book from his bookshelf. And she's like, yeah, that's from the other room. Like, yeah, I made that mark on it. I know that's his. Thank you. <laughs> hey, what's this? I uh, think you dropped this outside. <clears throat> Idiot. Someone you know. Oh, this is just this is just from some IT guy in there. Uh, I don't need it. Mm, no. That seems like a lie. Mm -hmm. on the back. You need these. I don't know. What is it? Uh, one nine zero five. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. That's just that's just a, a pen for something. It's okay. I can remember it. So not an offshore savings account or anything. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, it, it's not important. Okay, all right. That was so weird. Why are you lying to me? <laughs> yeah, that's for my keys. Where did you find that? Just outside. Right. Oh, it must have come off when uh, Nathan dropped my keys off. Uh, he was borrowing my car. That's very trusting. Yeah, I suppose it is. I, I am a bit too trusting, really. It's a new car as well. Wait, okay, hold on. Is that his cousin? Okay, because I know that he was he was borrowing his cousin's bike. But who is that kid who was making that, like, hand sign in the... Oh, I guess we don't... I don't think we know his name. I thought we knew his name, but I can't remember what it was. Wait, what, was he Nate? Um, give me a second. I have a list of a lot of You names. sure do. <laughs> Um, James, uh, Kyle. Kyle is the rude kid, so no. Oh, okay. Okay, owns a new car, often lends the car to friends. <laughs> Jinx. Like, is the only way Simon can get to work, right? Oh. Literally get fucked. Owns a new car, though. There's gotta be something here. There's something here. There's something here, I'm telling you. Oh God, thank you. Oh hey, God. <laughs> you so saved me. You get to work, yes? <sighs> What's wrong with the car? No, I can't drive the car yet, can I? I don't have my license. Right. How did, I got wh what? I went from an insurance payout. Uh, just figured I'd buy something sensible with it straight away instead of wasting the money. What was the insurance payout? Uh, it was for a laptop. It got stolen down at Atlas. You bought a car with that? bought a car, yeah. Well, they didn't break in. They, I think they just walked in and took it. The laptop was in a storeroom, but I think the lock was broken. Don't get lost in your lies. I'm taking their security very seriously. Uh, actually, it got a lot better after that. I think I'll check it anyway. He looks really upset with himself. <laughs> He's like, found out about something. It's like when somebody's doing improv and they're just like, God damn it. Yeah. Talk with Ryan about his security measures. Okay. Yeah, I'll have my two hundred dollar car, please. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. We haven't checked out these areas in a while. <laughs> the weird man hollow. <laughs> we always find a weird man. There's always a man. A man. Ah, Jetty. Ah, Jetty. Oh. Oh, look, Lanza. Uh, look at that. There's some trees out here. <laughs> look, Sally, I found a tree. It looks like you. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> strong and firm. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the best possible uh, outcome that could have been. Sally, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so he went back? More things, please. He went all the way down to town to get slapped by his <laughs> stupid wife. <laughs> Good for him. We love that about him. We love that he gets slapped in public by his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way he likes it. <laughs> it was a boring night for him. He had nothing you better to do. In the yeah. Yeah. You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. <laughs> don't know, don't care. Under lock and key. 
Do you know, our wedding night was quite a surprise. Yeah, I know, from her fucking <laughs> slapping you in public! <laughs> Why is he suddenly getting so nasty? I don't know! Well, his dad's also fucking nasty. Well, yeah. So. Nastiness just runs in the family. The apple does not fall far from the tree. Everybody's fucking nasty. It's like a double act, doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I was being- What is- he's been drinking all night, though. Whiskey, like hard whiskey. Yeah, that that cup has never left his hands since we saw him at 5 p.m., so... <laughs> yeah. So they have their own thing. Yeah, what's He's that about? He's fucked up. It's weird that he knows about have it. Have you seen this before? No, I'm sorry. Never That's mind. the first time we've had a response like that. I think that's genuine. But... Were you <clears throat> at Atlas when Simon's laptop was stolen? Oh, I believe I was, yes. He was taken from the storeroom in the hallway. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody just wandered along the lane, seen into the storeroom. It's not particularly secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. Uh, that's why we advise people to keep their valuables with them. You can't be too careful these days, Inspector. So they didn't increase the security. Yeah, what? Um, what did he say about uh his wife's medicine? That he doesn't know shit about it. Mm. Oh, wait. She keeps the cupboard locked. But she didn't because we have it. <laughs> well, we didn't take it. I thought I saw him pull it out and then like Oh, maybe he did put it no, back. He... I just didn't remember <laughs> seeing him do that. I was like, what the fuck, Jinx? No. Everything he touches is his. No, no, no. I saw him put that one back. Because I was like, that would have been so messed up. So if we just fucked. Stole somebody's like It was like her seizure medication. Yeah, <laughs> she's really going to kill somebody like on the road. Because she's just like, da 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 da. Suddenly has a seizure and just like pulls to the side. Because she didn't have her medicine. Because <laughs> Jinx fucking stole it. <laughs> Because he ate all of them. <laughs> now he can't ever faint. <laughs> he is invincible now. <laughs> That's how they work. Um, is it a good cube? Yeah, it's a good cube. Okay. Just making sure. <laughs> Thanks. All right. So we're at the pub because I guess we missed something with Rachel. Um, doesn't take any drugs or medicines. Under a packet of dried leaves. Oh, yeah. And then I do hard opiates every single day of my life. <laughs> wow, that was so long ago. It was so long ago. I totally forgot that she even said anything like that. I forgot about the magic mint, period. It's such a weird thing to me, though. Like, I don't consider, like... A mild painkiller, like. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, it's I guess it's medicines, but it's like, so, you like an ibuprofen. Yeah, like I don't, I don't, I'll consider that like a well, medication. Me there, Brian. So, um, for some reason, the chemist always made what to my name. Mm. What? Gentleman, does Ryan need prescription painkillers? Yes, he's got arthritis. Really, he's young to suffer from that, isn't he? He does well, badly, but he does need medication from time to time. What medicine is <laughs> Would that... To be honest. Ryan will know. That's funny, because Ryan told me to talk to you about it. So Ryan's the one doing <laughs> I think I might have a word with him, work out exactly what this medicine is. Also, arthritis can affect people, like, in their Anybody. Like, 20s. But I think it's really funny that... We have a, a major contradiction between his story and her story, but Jenks automatically assumes that <laughs> uh, Rachel was telling the truth. Because <laughs> she's way less of a fucking weirdo. He just assumes, okay, yeah. This guy with the Ryan, fucking whiskey. Yeah. They're both just freaks in different ways. Ryan was trying to pull the wool over my eyes, but not today. My eyes are too big for wool. That's what I always tell them. My eyes are wide awake. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up. <laughs> I woke up. Uh, Ryan's are, okay, tell me about your... Uh... Tell me about your arthritis. 
Oh, Your stupid you little pains, you stupid little man. Oh, yes. I'm old before my time. <laughs> it's very unlucky to have it so young. Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector. And sometimes life likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too debilitating. It's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem. Uh, it makes it difficult to hold small things, though. What do you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? Not often, as and when, as and when. I keep some here, I keep some at home. It's not a problem. Um, are people not supposed to have stuff like that here because of like security stuff? Oh, yep. Because he was just like, uh, once again, like, I think it's so weird to consider that, like, because they're like, no drugs or alcohol. Yeah. Like, Sans a I, little bit I, of alcohol. I took Allegra today. Sorry, you can't come in. Right? <laughs> He's sipping whiskey for hours at his massive mantle. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, no, fuck, you're right. <laughs> He's been drinking here the whole time. <laughs> right under my nose. What the fuck? He's been having like an eight hour long sippa. <laughs> <laughs> I also didn't really think about that until right now, and I feel very dumb. <laughs> it it feel, it's the same feeling as when we found the giant magnifying glass on the screen, and we're like, what's that? He was doing it right in front of our stupid eyes the whole time. Our we're so dumb. stupid, ignorant eyes. Dumb baby eyeballs. Let's see, it doesn't keep any medicines on sight. At work and at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah nice. Got you. Killing it, killing it. You don't keep any medicines on site. This man is fucked. <laughs> no. Prescription painkillers. Well, these are not available to the students, but they are kept on site. Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody will have access. To them. You're sure about that? Absolutely sure. And what are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> Painkillers, uh, just painkillers, normal painkillers. Paracetamol, codeine, morphine. Well, all right, they're morphine tablets, yes. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, come on, Inspector. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them or where they were. You're sure about that? Yes. Unless his dad. Morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. It was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. I'm wondering if she heard a rumor about it and asked Paul about it. Because maybe Paul knows oh. about his son's, like, arthritis stuff. And yeah. Maybe he, he said that she was really manipulative. So maybe he oh, had the information. Well. Thank you. Oh, he's like, like, she was flirting with me. And I told her all of our family secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I, told I her had no my choice. Social security number. <laughs> I guess I have to. <laughs> I told her my... <laughs> <laughs> My first words as a baby. <laughs> <laughs> She's the only one who knows now. Even I didn't know. Isn't I... that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> she took the knowledge right out of my mind. <laughs> what a manipulative young woman. <laughs> <laughs> Getting everybody's first baby words. <laughs> what a freak. I wonder when that one girl is gonna come back. I the know. Girl, she's like, I miss her. She's worried uh, and worrisome. Oh, oh, we can ask him about these. Okay. Okay. I didn't expect that. Me either. Who this is? Uh, Dean Hayfield, Aztec. Sorry, never heard of him. We have um, some prisoner sort who does our IT. Prisoner? Large guy. No manners. <laughs> Take a look at the mirror, old man. <laughs> Seen this before anywhere? No. All right, that solves that. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cross that one off. Yeah. Stolen from Atlas. I know I wasn't happy about it. 
What did you do? It had all my secrets on it. I paid a con man <laughs> to install a complicated CCTV system at twice the price that it would probably cost. Seemed to do the trick, though. We haven't had a theft since. Uh, how long ago? Excuse me. Yeah, wh when was it installed? I didn't uh, catch what that. What do you know about uh, Simon's laptop being stolen from Atlas? Uh, no, I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? So he doesn't say when. Ryan paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV system at twice the price. That yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know when the th when the theft happened. Yeah. Let's ask the rest of the questions and go back to Simon to ask him again. Right. When did Ryan begin to suffer from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Oh my god. <laughs> the only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability to deal with any kind of discomfort. He pulled his back sometime last year. Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from arthritis. I thought he had medication for it. Oh, he only has medication because his GP, who is almost as dysfunctional as he is, keeps prescribing it for him. <laughs> buckets so and you buckets don't full. believe he really has arthritis? Not at all. I can't tell if he's just one of those people who are like, depression isn't real, you just fight through it. <laughs> like, or if he's right. actually, like, lying in, about... In the context of this game, I don't think he would have said that if it wasn't. Okay. Like meant to be contradictory to somebody else's story. Mm -hmm. So let's go talk to Simon about the um, the timeline for the laptop being stolen. Yeah, I just want to, while we're here, I just want to yeah. ring everything out of this man that I can. Okay. Recognize this. Nope. Goes in now. Yeah, he fixed my laptop. Oh, oh he's he's real. useful for once. I think so. That little <laughs> look at the Shifty end, okay. Eyes. <laughs> yeah. Seen this before. Don't think so. Um, does he see anything else about his laptop that's Oh. No, no, no. Okay. Back later. Sounds useless, but thanks. <laughs> he leans forward. Have you heard of Bofa? <laughs> <laughs> no, nope. I don't think so. <laughs> Should I have? <laughs> Both of these nuts <laughs> obliterates them. That's my favorite me. <laughs> I'm so yeah, Chris mentioned it on stream the other day where he was just talking about the one that's from Watchmen. You watch yeah. That one made me cry the first time I saw that. Right? <laughs> Probably the funniest thing I've ever seen. Isn't it a tragic that uh what was it? Uh Oh god, the Apple guy. It's something that happened to Steve Jobs. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Steve Jobs died. I died of Ligma. Bofa. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, like Ligma. who's who's Steve Jobs? And he says Ligma, Ligma balls. balls and bless him to <laughs> death. <laughs> god. Who's Steve Jobs? Who's Ligma Steve balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, it's okay. Have you seen this before? I don't believe you. <laughs> Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Ah. Her usefulness has run out. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. You've expired. Goodbye. Did you know about Ryan's arthritis? Ryan? He's got arthritis? Mm. Apparently. No, I didn't know. I hadn't noticed he had any problems. Thank you. Probably. I feel like I'm just gonna have something to say about this. Yeah. Oh, she was also gonna talk about. Oh yeah. So laptop. Did you know about Simon's laptop being stolen? Yeah, because it had all my college work on it, <laughs> which I hadn't backed up or saved. Uh, not that it mattered much, but uh, I did buy a new one, and Simon uses it now. When I let him. <laughs> in the house exclusively <laughs> did you know about ryan round's arthritis arthritis <laughs> I, I didn't think ryan had arthritis 
Yeah. There's the proof not, needed. <laughs> it's not just Paul. It is Ryan being a stupid little shit. Yeah. All right. Well, join us next time. And <laughs> I'm going to take the whole town with me and we're all going to go. Go beat Ryan up and tell him <laughs> now he has something to, <laughs> to complain feel pain about. Over. It. Yeah. <laughs> if he doesn't have arthritis, by God, by midnight he will. And we, we pull the bag of morphine out of our pocket because we did have it with us the whole time and dangle it over his head. Don't you, you wish you had some morphine right now? You we throw arm. it into the fire. <laughs> this man <laughs> he killed people i mean yeah but we're so mean <laughs> so come back and we're gonna bully him to death yeah all right thanks for <laughs> thanks for watching <laughs> oh no bye are we supposed to like not feel guilt or something yeah we can't feel guilt over it yeah Ry ryan's own words yeah 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 we got it it's good okay we're bye. doing it to honor him <laughs>